Yeah, this is a weird one. Uh, this is a weird one uh, from retail. And uh, this takes place during the holidays. And uh, it was at Target store. And the holidays, unlike now, um, they do get a little busy now during the holidays. But it is nothing like what it was before Amazon was popular. Because before that, people would be busting down doors to do holiday shopping. And this year was no exception. So the store is packed. There's a ton of people in it. And a woman, um, let me preface it by saying it happens a lot. Kids get lost at the store. It happens. Uh, They split away. They go to look at toys. Their parents are trying to look at something else. Basically what happens, if there's a missing kid, uh, either the child uh, will either approach someone or someone working there will see, you know, the kid looks lost, approach them, ask them what's up, um, finds out they're lost, or the kid's crying. Uh, they'll just take the kid up to the front desk, the customer service counter. Uh, they usually make an announcement uh, over the PA system. And if it's the other way around, they'll do the same thing. The parent will be at the front desk. They'll make an announcement. Security will go looking all over um, and find the child or the parent, whichever one is lost, right? Well, this particular uh, incident, the woman, I remember, was a blonde lady. She was very frantic, uh, and she was screaming. And again, the store is packed, and she's screaming that she has lost her daughter. Not only has she lost her daughter, but her daughter has been kidnapped and she kept screaming it over and over and over and over and over again my daughter's been kidnapped help 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 my daughter's been kidnapped what the fuck are you people doing nobody's doing anything my daughter was kidnapped she was kidnapped and then it goes into she was not just kidnapped she was kidnapped by a black man in a black van and she's up at the desk, and the the lines have stopped moving. Because, obviously, this is a major problem. This is a super big emergency. If a kid has been kidnapped, this is a major emergency. So, security's on the phone with the police department. The customers are not moving. Nobody's walking out the door. Nobody's coming in the door. Uh, everyone's at a standstill. They've stopped the... The cashiers have stopped checking people out. The guns are no longer boop, 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 and scanning. None of that shit. Total lockdown, plus everybody's watching this woman screaming at the front desk. And nobody knows what to do. Everybody's kind of like looking at each other confused, but front desk is asking, you know, what, what, uh, when was the last time you saw him? When was the last time you saw Not him, her. When was the last time you saw her? Uh, what, what, what was she wearing? And she will not cooperate with any questions being asked. She just responds to every question. My daughter was taken by a black man. I saw him. He put her in a black van and they sped away. And, and uh, what the fuck? Help, help. There's, there's no reasoning. There's no calming her down. She's running up to other patrons that are checking out. Um, well, again, not checking out, but standing at the registers, you know, going up to them, screaming at them, did you see him? Where is he going? Like, you know, like these patrons know this guy who supposedly uh, kidnapped his girl. And she's running around the store. Uh, security, <laughs> security is like, is chasing her as she's running around. Uh, and she's going down aisles but she keeps screaming where is the black man that kidnapped my daughter and again she then comes back around to the front of the store once again up at the front desk screaming someone help me someone help me they're trying to calm her down uh the police are on their way um they're pulling all the footage there there is now a team of people in the asset protection, in the security office. And they are looking at all the monitors. They're combing through this stuff. 
um, looking at every detail. Everybody's got a job to do, and they're assigned to a monitor, and they're all watching these screens and trying to figure out. And meanwhile, this lady's going crazy. And uh, the head of security is talking with her now, trying to calm her down. And she's gotten to the point now where she is no longer completely hysterical, uh, but she's starting to answer some more questions. When was the last time you see her? She would never leave my side. She would never leave my side. She, I, this is the one time it happened, and I knew, I knew something like this would happen. She never, ever does this. She never does this. And the security guy, oh, what was she wearing? She's describing what she's wearing. Um, she, you know, she she goes, the, but the black guy, he picked her up and he ran with her and, and it stuffed her in a van right out front. And then the van sped away and I couldn't get to her in time. And it just goes on and on and on. So the police pull up and they come into the store. They're trying to, uh, they're trying to, to ask her questions now that she's seen the police her hysterical nature rises once again, and now she is inconsolable. Again, she's crying, she's screaming, again, not answering their questions. <clears throat> well, I'm watching all this happen, and as all this is going on, a young girl, probably about the age of 12, uh, maybe a little younger, probably, you know what, 8. I'm not a very good gauge of ages when it comes to kids. I'm like... Uh, I see a kid, they could be 12, they could be 8, I don't know. They, they just look like a kid to me. Uh, anyways, much younger than that. Probably 8 is comes out of the bathroom and just looks around and sees the police. <laughs> All the customers have just stopped and are staring. Uh, and she locks eyes with the woman. And the woman... <laughs> Fox eyes with her and, and falls on her knees and starts screaming, Why did you do this to me? <laughs> Clearly, it's her daughter uh, who just went to the bathroom and didn't, didn't tell her mom. Uh, so the mom is on her knees, falls onto the floor, starts crying crawling towards the girl, like scraping at the ground as she goes, comes up to her, grabs her by the pant legs, falls back down again, and once more screams in front of the entire store, Why did you do this to me? <laughs> and, and uh, yeah, now here comes... <laughs> Now we found the daughter, right? She was in the bathroom the whole time. Where did we where did we get where did we get the black man in the black van story from? Now I was personally one of in the audience that was kind of kind of wanted to put my hand up and say, "Okay, now let's get back to the black guy with the black van part of the story." Maybe Maybe some maybe some apologies need to be made at this point. Um, but no, no apologies were made. As a matter of fact, after the last screaming beg of the pant leg of why uh, this was done to her, uh, she picks herself off the floor as if nothing happened. There's no tears now at this point. She, t she picks up her daughter, uh, takes one last look around the store, which is still at a standstill. So there are hundreds of people just standing at the register, staring, watching this entire crazy scene unfold. Uh, and she just picks up her daughter, turns around, looks at everyone, nods her head as if, uh, you know, it's one of those nods that you give, like, when you know you fucked up, but you're just too proud to, to apologize, and you've you've already done some crazy-ass shit. It's the nod of, uh, yeah, I'm an asshole, and uh, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to be back to this store for a little while. <laughs> I'm going to give it like six, eight months, maybe maybe change my hair, get a, 
get a haircut, put on some glasses or something because, uh, yikes, what the fuck was that all about? Um, but yeah. Weird. Yeah.